So, you like crushing people's nuts, eh? Well, payback's a bitch. Who do you think it is? Mick, the giant McInerney, the line shark. This is not the situation I want to be in. How would this happen anyway? This morning everything was just fine. It's all because of that fucking koala. This is where we live. 88 Brook Street. Hey mate, do you want anything from the shop? That's my flatmate Chris. Don't get much straighter than him. He loves his job as an accountant and he's always looking to help people out. He's definitely not one for confrontation. Oh, could you pick us up a box of barbecue snacks, the biggest thing you can of creaming soda and a family sized cheese pizza with extra cheese? That's my other flatmate, Norm. Norm spends the majority of his time in this position. When he's not on the catch, he's at his call centre job. He dreams of one day meeting a girl that loves weed as much as he does. Yeah, that's it. Nah. Come in my face. And this is me. I consider myself a bit of an entrepreneur. I've got a phone sex business, but that's not my only source of income. I have several other business ventures I'm currently developing. You're welcome, big boy. You call me back anytime. Hello? Any, uh, any girls in? That was the fifth bloke this morning. All of them asking for the same thing. Are the ladies home? Oh, good day, mate. Uh, any, uh, any Asian chicks on today? Yeah, hey guys, how you going? Um, chasing some fatties. Do you have fat girls in? They're a bit cheaper. Would they be cheaper? Oh, yeah, g'day, mate. Uh, yeah, I heard that you had a bit of a, a bit of a buffet on. Just hoping I could, uh, hoping I could eat in. You know what I mean? It was starting to get irritating. I know. I turned away this one bloke the other night who was so sex raised. I actually thought he was going to try and screw me. Kept reaching into his pockets and fondling his balls. Mm. I even thought about following him and taking him down with that trank gun. You know the one I bought on eBay. <laughs> right. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Pub? Pub. Sweet, give me about 10 minutes, just gonna have a quick shower, all right? Well, looks like you got your afternoon sorted. Sure you don't want to come down the pub? What? No, nah, man, I'm sweet. Suit yourself. Tell Chris I'll be at Moe's. I've got a feeling it'll be a while. <laughs> Have a good wank. What? Um, what are you talking about? 
Jamie told me that ever since Nicola left you, the only way you've been able to satisfy yourself is by flogging off in the shower while listening to Wham. Well, as you can see, I'm all right. He was not all right. Ah, uh, did Jamie say where he's heading off to? Um, I think he said, I said something about. Norm. Yeah. Where did Jamie go? Relax, man. I told you, you went to the pub. Oh, for goodness sakes. Give me a bloody call. Hey, don't forget to put your rent money there as well. Rent's due tomorrow and it can't be late again, all right? Excuse me, sir, I'm raising money for a wildlife charity. Save the koalas! What? Who's inside, mate? No one. You went out with the bloody door open. Oh, my Xbox! Goddamn digital camera! God damn it! God damn it! Cash. I didn't take the TV. Shit. The rent. Really? <laughs> that was all of it. Oh, quick. Call the cops. Norm, you let the door open, you bell in. All the cops are going to file a report. And insurance, they're not going to do anything. We don't have insurance. Insurance is a total waste of money anyway. They won't cover you in times when you... Oh, times when you, you go out and get really stoned, go out and leave the door open. Yeah, go on, Norm. Well, yes. Look, we need to think straight here. The rent has to be in tomorrow. How much money you guys got? Yeah, I've got about 280, but I get paid in a week. Well, I'm a cash business. Most of what I had was here. Norm? I've got about 60 till Thursday. So if we don't eat or spend any money till Thursday, we've got $340 for rent. Mate, we need about 10 times that. Clues. Search for clues. Clues. Who are you? Sherlock Holmes. Well, they did leave this. Oh, koala. Okay. This is nothing. Call it. Three grand, we can do that. 
Okay, how are we gonna do that? Any uh, ladies here? I've got plenty of money. Residence. Okay, thanks. Wait. Sorry, mate. This guy's a bit paranoid. Probably thought you was a cop. Um, we don't open for business till later. Low profile and all that. Why don't you come back about nine ish and um, bring your mates? Why did you tell that guy to come back? Because, my lonely young friend, that bloke there is the answer to our problem. That boy? Well, that guy, and every other desperate muppet trolling the streets for clunge tonight. <laughs> you suggesting we become a brothel for the night? That's exactly what I'm suggesting. <laughs> You've been smoking Norm's weed? Look, we go to the cross, we find some amazing girl who can handle a lot of guys, and we set her up in one of the bedrooms. I don't want that happening in my house. I don't want some poor girl to demean herself just for us to get some money. Chris, you do realise that prostitution is the world's oldest profession. These poor girls are savvy businesswomen, they're not virgin nuns. It's illegal. <laughs> it's perfectly legal. There's tons of brothels around here. I mean, this place used to be a brothel. It's only for one night, and all the sex can happen in Norm's room. It's about time someone had sex in there. There's got to be some other way. You got a better idea? That's what I thought. Besides, I think I know just the girl. Who do you know? Don't worry about that now, you come with me. Norm, you stay here and make this place look more like a brothel. <laughs> about tonight? I think she's just finishing up a group job in room four. Here she is now. Come back any time, fellas. Frida Beast. Not your average cool girl from the cross. She's well educated and independent. She got into the profession because the money's good, but the main reason she loves beating men with that whip of hers. Frida, darling. Looks like them fellas got their money's worth, eh? You sexy vixen. Knock it off, Jamie. What are you doing here? I've got a business proposition for you. I'm listening. Seventy percent, you say? Yeah, that's right. Do you have security? Will I be protected? Absolutely. I mean, Chris might look a bit soft and squidgy, but he's harder than a cock on Viagra. ex bouncer army before that, special forces like, you know. And he knows karate. What, this guy? Seventy-five percent? But only because it's you. It's gross. Don't touch that.
No, I said a brothel, not your mother's bedroom. Look, never mind that now, all right? Frida, my roommate, Norm. Pleased to meet you, Norm. OK, uh, now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, Norm, why don't you show Frida where she'll be working tonight? Oh, and uh, put this on. Norm! Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah, right. Um. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, right this way. This. This. this is a terrible idea. Nah, 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 mate. That's where you're wrong. This is a brilliant idea. And I figured out how to keep you out of arm's way. Come on. Let's get you ready. Ready? Ready for what? Hi. Any ladies in tonight? Certainly, my good man. Right this way. Now, we have a very special lady in view this evening. She's beautiful, sophisticated, and she'll do anything providing the money's right. But you'll sort that side of things out with her. However, as the proprietor of this fine establishment, you can understand that I'm a little bit concerned for the safety and well-being of my employees. Hence, if anything untoward should happen, if you upset the lady in any way, the last thing you will ever see is this face. All right then, this is our resident gimp, Norm. And he'll show you where the magic happens. Off you go, Norm. There's a good lad. Hi, baby. in Sydney and to give this beat to the best and the bravest the top of the top cream of the crop well actually they were assigned to us at random you said they saved yep it must be pretty good kiddo you know in an area like this you've always got to keep your eyes peeled suspect everyone because they're all criminals in one way or another that's not what they teach us at the academy. They say if you... Forget everything you learn at the academy, sweetheart. I don't think you're supposed to address me like that. <laughs> you gotta be tougher than that. They eat preppy PC rich kids for breakfast out here. Yep. 
These are main streets, baby. Have you ever seen that movie? What's going on, man? What's taking so long? Oh, no. Perfect timing. Why don't you go tell old lovely boy's time's up so we can get this next fella up there, eh? But, Jesus Christ, what's in those things? I, I, I can't pronounce the chemical, but I did shrink a rowdy drunk guy who was peeing on our front steps last week. He was still there when I left for work the next morning. So whatever it is, it's good. this to our advantage. What, what, what do you mean use this to our advantage? What are we going to do with these guys? Look, leave that to me. Let's just get them out of the way for now. Come on, grab his legs. Oh, Nicola. <laughs> Right, here's the plan. We're gonna make twice as much money as we thought. I'm gonna send up two punters at a time, one to see Frida and the other to see you. Your code name is Daphne. Daphne? What? Me? Daphne? I'm not rooting anyone and no one's rooting me! Relax you idiot, did I say you'd have to shag anyone? Look, if we tell them they're going to see Daphne, then we lure them into Chris's room. All you gotta do is wait till they're in the door, trank them and take the money out of their wallet. Simple. Simple? Isn't that like armed robbery or something? No. The sole purpose of this little escapade is money. We're all playing a role tonight. You're not Snorm anymore. You're Norm the Gimp. And I'm Jamie the Pimp. And I think the Gimp would be okay with this. Besides, you've already tranked two people. A couple more won't matter. Yeah, but taking their money, it just, it just seems wrong. Wrong? We're running an unlicensed brothel for the evening and you've just tranked two people. At this moment in time, wrong is, at best, a grey area. Besides, these guys are probably getting some dizzy and high off whatever's in these things. And what's more, they're getting it for free. Would your drug dealer give you weed for free? Well, no. Exactly. So the way I see it, all we're doing is feeding the habits to these poor drug addicts. It's not so bad, is it? I mean, if we weren't doing it, someone else would be, right? You understand? I suppose so. But how are you going to decide who gets shot and who gets afraid of? You leave that to me. What about the bodies? We can't fit them all in Chris's bed. I and mean, when they'd wake up tomorrow with no money, they'd know it was us for sure. Stop worrying, Mr. Gimp. All we've got to do is move them out of the house before they come to in the morning. I mean, if these guys wake up on the street somewhere with no money and no memory of how they got there, they'll just think they got mugged or something. I don't know. <sighs> no. Everything's going to be fine. Trust me. OK. Now, hide somewhere. And I'll send the next only punter up in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. So you met our friend behind the curtain. All that's left to do now is answer one question before you go up and see our lovely ladies. Now, don't worry. There's no right or wrong answer. What's your favourite football team? Um. I don't know. Oh, Sydney United. You, top of the stairs, turn left, go to the end of the hall, where Frida will make your acquaintance. You, Mr Sydney United, top of the stairs, turn right, 
definitely be waiting for you. Local pimp, Freddy Wu, claims he is a descendant from an ancient Chinese warlord. Despite being born in El Salvador, he is a gun runner, drug manufacturer and supplies most of Sydney's underworld. He has got a penchant for hookers and he spends most of his time at his brothel. Freddy has noticed that business is unusually slow this evening. I can't believe it's Saturday night. There's no one around, not even one hand out You, turn left, end of the hall. You, top of the stairs, first door on your right. Norm, why'd you take their clothes off? Because this would make it look like they got mugged or something. <laughs> they did get mugged. Yeah, but before they had their clothes on, so this would kind of throw off the scent, you know? <laughs> Confuse them. <laughs> Right, great. Good job, Norm. Well done. <laughs> the problem is I can't handle any more than nine men at a time. Unless we start dropping bodies out the window. That's a bloody brilliant idea. What? You can't be serious. No, Jamie. Not dropping them, Norm. Lowering them. But once we've filled the courtyard, then why? Don't worry a little gimpy head about it. My cousin Ray Ray's on his way over for body detail. Ray Ray? I thought he was a roadie with Iron Maiden. Nah, he got kicked off the tour this year for telling Steve Harris that West Ham was shit. <laughs> anyway, he'll be here any minute. Get the harness on him and get him out the window, yeah? Can't we just take him down the stairs? What? What? Think, you idiot! What are punters downstairs going to think if we start walking past them with unconscious bodies? What? Look, never mind. Just get him out of the window, yeah? What? Que pasa aquí? Oh my god, is there anybody upstairs or what? You're the new one anyway. You meant to rob the house around here. Why don't you go outside and flash your eyes or something, you know? Get more business inside. Huh? Mick, the giant McInerney, notorious biking enforcer and loan shark, a senior member of the April Cherubs and all ran bad arts. They call him a giant not because of his size, but because he will literally grind your bones to make his bread. Is that a fact? Just let me see to my guests. And I'll pay their place a visit. Gentlemen, it appears I have a pressing engagement elsewhere. So I'll make this easy for you. I have two types of currency. Cash? So, 
Each finger is worth a thousand dollars. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out that you're gonna run out of fingers long before you pay me back. So, either I start collecting fingers from yourselves, your wives, your children, or you can pay me cash. You have 20 seconds to decide. Ass. What the? What the fuck is going on? I'm sure the guys are right. I guess you're right, but we better get started on body detail pretty damn quickly. They're starting to pile up out there. I've got nine in the courtyard already. <laughs> Jamie, what's going on? Uh, what's body detail? Um, it's nothing, mate. We just had a bit of trouble. One or two of the rowdy punters, and we had to knock them out a bit. What nine of them? And what do you mean, knock them out a bit? That's it, I'm done, man. I'm out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry about it. It's all under control. I've got someone to take care of it. Jamie, there's no way you've got this under control, okay? No way. And who are you going to get to take care of it? One of your underground freaks? One of those weirdos that you know you hang around with? Right. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, sorry. I forgot you two have never met. Chris, this is my cousin, Ray Ray. He's gonna be on body detail. Body detail? What the hell? Why do we need body detail for? What the hell's going on up there? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You better take care of it, man, I swear to God. On top of this brothel shit, if anyone's hurt, I'm gonna phone the police myself, all right? Shush, sure, shush, sure, shush. Sure. Have I ever done anything to get us in trouble? Well, no is the answer. Look, just get back in the enclosure and look scary and stuff. We got money to make. So it'll be over soon. We have the rent money, we won't get evicted, and we might have enough to replace your Xbox. Thanks for coming out to help, Ray. Hey, no problem, young cousin. And what seems to be the problem you're having then? Well, we need someone to sort of move all these bodies out of here, you know, somewhere away from the house. When they come to, they shouldn't remember they were here, but if they wake up here... Yeah, I see, mate, I see. Well, uh, you got something I can transport, Mum? Ah, uh, Jamie, you better get out here. Coming, mate. Here, I'll figure it out. You deal with this lot, and I'll take care of these gents. Cheers, Ray. So, young rookie, what made you decide to get into this dangerous game as an urban soldier against the forces of evil? That's police in love. Well, when I was little, I always wanted to be a cop and I... Patrol 2, we're on it. Over. No time for that getting to know you crap now, rookie. Got a report of noise pollution over on Brook Street. It's priority one around here, sweetheart. Now, forget all that academy theory crap. It's time for you to see how we deal with these sick bastards out here on the streets. Game face on, girly. It's head cracking time. Let's burn some shoe leather. <laughs> Hey, 
Everybody else got a problem! Good night, Brave. Looks like business is booming. Mind if I uh, come in and check out the ladies? Uh, yeah, sure, mate. Then you come. Thanks, mate. Look, uh, there might be a short wait, so uh, you just want to take a seat? So you the uh, owner of this establishment? Well, not the owner. More like the night manager, really. The night manager? It's funny because you look like a pimp to me. And I thought I knew every pimp in Sydney. Ah, Norm, uh, perfect timing. Why don't you take these fellas up to see Frida and bring Daphne back down with you, eh? Daphne? Yes, Norm, Daphne, our new girl. Working out of Chris's room. Oh. Daphne? Yes, Norm. So, uh, is there anything I can get you? Beer, whiskey, cup of tea? I'm sure you understand the situation you've got yourself in. So allow me to enlighten you. I represent the friendly neighborhood motorcycle club. And as such, that gives me an opportunity to offer an enterprising young man such as yourself a little bit of protection from the big bad guys. Well, uh, that's very nice of you, but I'm not sure we need any protection. Oh, really? How about now? Unfortunately for you, I work for one of your competitors up the road. He's not happy with his money coming down here to you, so I'm here to look after his interests and put you out of business. Do we have an understanding? Yes! Oh. There. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> You've learned a valuable lesson to me, Mr. Night Manager. There's a lot of dangerous people out in the world. You could always do with some more insurance. I know what you mean. If there's any trouble, rookie, get behind me. Space. Well, here we are. I come so close to pulling this off. We had the money, the plan was working. But now, we're probably all going to jail. All because of that. Good evening, young man. My partner and I are investigating a noise complaint at this address. You fellas having a little party here tonight? Yeah, that's right, a party. Right, close the door. And these guys didn't make the cut, I take it? Uh, nah. What are you guys still doing? I told you, it's a fancy dress party. No costumes, no entry in it. I don't know, mate. Some people just don't want to get in the spirit of things, do they? Um, it's starting to wind down now, so uh, we'll just leave you to it, yeah? Not so fast. Right. I'm just going to move that last one now. All right. So what's the theme for this fancy dress party? It's pimps and prostitutes, officer. Yeah, what she said. What about the guy in the koala getup? Uh, didn't get an email, but he's a good mate, so I thought, what the hell? At least they made an effort. Not like those other guys. Um, so, uh, this noise complaint? Why don't you come in and show me what level we should have the stereo on, you know, legally like. We wouldn't want to offend our delightful neighbours. Well, I don't think there's a, a legal level for stereos. But let me take a look at it. Evening, man. So with a system like this, you're probably looking around about a six. Six? Really? Oh yeah. You see, it's the bass in these things that makes them sound so loud. Yeah, what is this, the uh, TX-9? And what are you supposed to be? I asked you a question, mate. What are you dressed up as?
Ah, uh -huh. I get it. Submissive, huh? <laughs> Just staying in character. So you're saying level six? My sister-in-law's got one of these. So, how long have you been a cop? It's police officer. And this is actually my first night out on the beat. Oh, sorry. Nice utility belt. There's a place for everything. Where do you get them? They're standard issue in the New South Wales Police Force. That's a very convincing costume. Thank you. supposed to be? Pimp or prostitute? I, I, I just live here. I've got, I've got nothing to do with this. Well that's not really the party attitude is it? Look at the trouble the rest of this lot have gone to. The least you could do is get in the spirit of things. to shoot him? Ah. Who is this guy, Sarge? That's the infamous Freddie Wu. Gunrunner, brothel owner, a downright scoundrel. Mm. Looks like we've got you on destruction of property, hey, is there any lazy breaking and entering, okay, yeah. possession of illegal firearm. You've gone away for a long time, Freddie. You have the right to remain silent. Fuck. Lucky we were here. Looks like you got the wrong house, Freddie. <laughs> Just my luck, eh? Come here to investigate a noise complaint. End up catching you, and saving some lives. Nothing going on here but an innocent fancy dress party. You bastard. Get him in the van. Oh, and Rookie. Sarge? Nice job. You might make it out here after all. Well, um, thank you so much, officer, for... Uh... Saving your life? No thanks required, mate. Just doing my job. Hey, any ladies in? Nah, mate. It's a bloody sausage fest in there. And besides, they won't let you in without a costume. Three thousand one hundred, three thousand two hundred, three thousand three hundred. Right. That's the rent taken care of. Frida, love. There's your cup. It was nice doing business with you guys. We should do this again sometime. I uh, I don't think we'll be doing this again. Norm, you've got my number. Don't be a stranger. for your trouble. Could have done it without you, mate. Cheers. You know, we made a bit of cash last night. And you heard what Frida said. No, Jamie, no. We did this for the rent. We've got the rent now. Now let's go pay the rent before something else goes wrong, okay? Can we get some waffles? I don't see why not. Thank you. 
Well, folks, all's well that ends well. The rent got paid and nobody got hurt. Let's 
มีเครดิตบูธครับโอ้โห Who the hell is this guy? Sorry. Sorry. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Take five. <laughs> Why do we need a body detail board, Jamie? What the hell's going on upstairs? <laughs> What the hell's going on up there? <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs> Freeze! Drop a weapon! Freeze! Drop the weapon! Drop a weapon. Yeah, man, there's something going on, man. We all get tired here, so because that last take, last take. Yeah.